If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the basic and advanced maths concepts. Hello everyone. In our today's lecture, we are going to learn that how you can find the uh, all the trigonometric ratios if only one is given. As you know that trigonometric ratios refers to the ratio of the sides of the right angle triangle. Today we will learn the trick that how you can find it quickly. So in the example we are given with tan theta is equals to under root 5 by 2 and you will be asked to find all the trigonometric ratios at theta. In this example we have given with tan theta. It may be cos theta or sin theta. So you have to use the same same procedure to find the all trigonometric ratios. So in the so the key to the to find all the trigonometric ratios is some people have curly brown hairs to push back. Now don't need to get confused about what is this. This is basically the key. So we will start with what does it mean? Is this this is basically just um, uh, uh, just a line to remember the trigonometric ratios. By, uh, what does it mean? Let's see. We have to take the S of some, P of people, H of have, C of curly, B of brown, H of hairs, T of two, P of push and B of back. Now what we will do from these? Let's see. S is for sine theta. That is equals to perpendicular divided by this h is for hypotenuse. So we we have done with sine theta is equals to perpendicular over hypotenuse. Then we have c. c is for cos theta that is equals to b is for base divided by h is for hypotenuse. These are basically the sides of the right angle triangle. Then we have t. t is for tan theta that is equals to p is for perpendicular divided by b is for base. So this is how you can memorize or remember the trigonometric ratios when you will be asked to find the, 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 the all the trigonometric ratios and you will be given with the only one. Now using these trigonometric ratios you can easily find the one when you have you will be given with one and you have to find the others. So we were, were given with tan theta is equals to under root 5 by 2. Now from these um, trigonometric ratios we can see that trigonometric uh, that tan theta is equals to perpendicular over base. So we can say that perpendicular here is under root 5 and base is 2. So you have got the two sides of the right triangle. The value of the two sides of the right angle triangle. So we can say that perpendicular is equals to under root 5 and base is equals to 2. Now only one side is left that is hypotenuse. So in order to find the hypotenuse you need to use just the Pythagoras theorem. So then you will have all the three sides and you can easily find all the trigonometric ratios. So let's find the hypotenuse as hypotenuse square is equals to perpendicular square plus base square. So we just need to put the values in as perpendicular square is under root 5 square plus base square is 2 square but we will get 5 plus 4 that is equals to 9. So we have to take the under root on both sides so we will get the value of hypotenuse equals to 3. Now we have got all the three sides of the right angle triangle. Hypotenuse is 3 if I draw it here as hypotenuse is 3, perpendicular is under root 5 and the base is 2. Now we have all the three sides and the angle is theta. So using these sides we can find all the other three trig uh, all the six trigonometric ratios as by using the key here as we know that sine theta is equals to perpendicular or hypotenuse so we have perpendicular that is under root 5 and hypotenuse is 3 then we have cos theta cos theta is equals to base over hypotenuse base is 2 and hypotenuse is 3 then we have tan theta tan theta is equals to perpendicular over base perpendicular is under root 5 and base is 2 now from if you are given with sine cos and tan you can easily find cosecant cot and secant as the, the uh, as these are the uh, reciprocal identities so uh, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine theta so we can say that its value will be 3 over under root 5 then cot is the reciprocal of tan theta so we have to rever uh, inverse the value of tan theta is 2 over under root 5 and secant theta is the if I write here secant theta is the inverse of cos theta so cos theta is 2 by 3 so it will become 3 by 3. so we have found all the six trigonometric ratios by using this this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 
five and this is six. So that's all from today's lecture. You can apply this method even if you are given with sine theta equals to the value or cos theta equals to value. You just need to use this method. So that's all from today's lecture. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.